Yeah. You know, good to get a win. Like I told our players, uh, hard to win in college football every week. You know, they're the number of teams that, that are undefeated just you know keep going down. I think we're down to 10 or 11 right now. And I would suspect by the weekend we'll probably be down to 8 or 9. And so it's just hard to, hard to keep winning. And I thought our guys played the best half of football that we've played all year, you know, the first half. I thought, uh, I thought our guys played exceptionally well. You know, we looked fast. We were crisp. I thought our offensive line played well. I thought we ran the ball hard. I thought our defense was really good, looked fast. We did a great job tackling. Um, you know, it was good to see that. And then second half just didn't start out very well. Gave up a, a long drive to start the second half and, you know, sputtered a little bit on offense. And uh, finally, we were able to kind of pull away. You got to give Tulane credit. thought those guys played hard all the way through the game. You know, it's hard to do when, that, when those guys have been through what they've been through this year. You know, I know it's been a tough year for them. Um, just being, you know, being hurricaned out of <clears throat> out of New Orleans for a month and having to go to Birmingham and away from their families and you know I know it's been a, a difficult year for Coach Fritz and, and that and that uh, in that team and you know uh, it's, I just have a lot of respect for the effort that they played with today and you know what they do in their program and um, like I said, good to get a win. We knew it would be hard fought and uh, always fun when you can win a football game. Obviously, this game was on the national stage, um, and uh, it looked really, I mean, like you said, best first half you guys have had this season. What kind of message do you think you might have, you know, sent to teams that are on a national Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, look, it's like anything else. Our guys wanted to, you know, it's like say all the time, I and mean, we're just trying to earn respect, you know what I mean? And um, you got to go play well, and when you have the, the national stage, we don't get it very often. Um, and, you know, I thought our guys were excited about the opportunity, and took advantage of it certainly in the first half and then second half wasn't, wasn't as good. You know, like I said, we, I thought defensively we got a bunch of key stops in the second half when they had opportunities to, to really get back in the game. You know, there were two possessions there in the third quarter where we got stops on fourth down. Um, you know, that our defense really, you know, it, it, to me that, that was a game winning effort, those two stops. Um, you know, we've said it over and over again. We know we got to play better. You know, Houston's going to be a, ch a big challenge for us next week. It's for the, you know, it's for the the lead in the American Conference, and it'll be a big big game for them and a big game for us, and it'll be a big challenge. And our guys are excited about the opportunity and looking forward to hopefully again next next week playing on a national stage. You said after either Navy or South Florida that teams were going to more and more teams were going to drop eight uh, to defend the way Tanner's been throwing the ball. And it looked like at least in the first half, at least Tulane didn't do it as much as maybe some might have expected. Were you surprised by that? <clears throat> well, you know, it's, I think Tulane's not a team that typically does that. You know what I mean? That's not their mo defensively. So, um, you know, thought they might have some of that in just because it has, I think, given us some some problems at times this season. But um, but we didn't see it today, you know, and and they they played what 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 they play, and I think that's. You know, that's what teams do, and I, I kind of thought that's probably what we would see from them. Um, you know, as I said in the third quarter, our execution wasn't as clean as it was in the first half, and, you know, we just we just hit a lull there. Um, had a hard time making plays and just had, had a hard time getting anything going. And, you know, never really felt good about the game until Levine scored the touchdown at the end. And so, you know, was frustrated. We had two offensive pass interference penalties that hurt us at kill drives. You know, I just wasn't happy about that. Um, but you know, I think that we've got to, you know, we got to not, not do that, because you know, you think about it, you get 12 possessions in a game, and two of them end on offensive pass interference calls, or you know, 13 possessions, whatever it is, and so you just got to make sure that we, we get that corrected, get that fixed, and, and move on. The offensive line, uh, <coughs> just the shuffling that you guys have had to go through, and all the different combinations, and now Marcus, you know, out got hurt tonight. Yeah. Uh, just can you speak to the? Yeah, yeah. You know, we've had a bunch of ankle injuries with that group. Um, you know, Jalen was out for a couple of weeks with his ankle. Marcus had had a hurt ankle, and I think he, um, you know, got stepped on tonight. So I think what happened. I don't know that it's necessarily a sprain as much as he got stepped on. So, you know, you got Alana Lee who can do everything for you. I mean, that's a great thing that Alon does for us. Uh, he's probably one of the most important players on our football team just because he can play center guard or tackle. And, you know, he's done it all for us and very versatile. And, you know, and what it allows us to do is keep experienced guys out there playing. And so, 
you know, my hope is that Jalen continues to, to get better and better. Um, thought he played his best football game that he's played in a while um, tonight. <clears throat> so as he get, gets better, hopefully we'll get Marcus back. And, you know, Bo's been on the shelf for a while, but I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get him back uh, for Houston next week as well. And, you know, if we, can, if we do that, then we'll have our full complement offensive linemen. So we'll see see how Marcus responds this week and, and um, you know, make adjustments off of that. To follow up on, on that, Alan has played, he started the year at center, I think he's played at least a little bit of guard, and now he played both tackle positions tonight. Have you ever had a lineman play all five spots on your offensive line in one season? And what's Alan's best position? <clears throat> well, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know that we've had a guy play five. My the answer to that would probably be no. You know, I can't say for sure. I just, I don't, I can't recall. Um, and I think Alon has played all five positions, if I'm not mistaken, at some point this season. Um, you know, I, I mean, it's like I said, he's probably best suited at center, you know, uh, but just because, you know, he's just, he's a great snapper, he's a good decision maker. Um, you know, I just think that's his best position. But, man, when you can do all that, I mean, it just, again, shows you how valuable he is. And, as I said, I mean, he's truly one of the most valuable players on our football team, just his ability to be able to, to bounce around and, and fill holes where we need him to. <clears throat> Tanner obviously started the year with the seven-touchdown performance and has continued with strong numbers all year. He goes over 400 again tonight. Where have you seen the most growth in him through seven games? Well, I think what I saw tonight was um, an ability to kind of, you know, full field read. You know, I think that's been something that we've been working toward being able to do consistently. And there are times today, you know, a big third down conversion, I know, to Reggie, you know, went through front side, got to his fourth read, you know, all the way on the back side and, and made a heck of a throw. And Reggie made a nice catch and converted some third downs. You know, I think that was the – that was big for us tonight. You know, we were 2 of 11 on third down versus Navy. And so that was a problem. And tonight, I don't know what our numbers were, but they were a lot better uh, on third down. And I thought we made a bunch of really, really key third down conversions tonight. Um, kept drives al alive, gotten some third and longs. And, you know, when we did that, somebody made a play. You know, Reggie, or Reggie made that play. Um, Dylan Goffney made a play. Uh, Grant Calcaterra made a bunch of plays. Danny Gray made a play. We were backed up on that post route on third down. You know, there were a bunch of big third down conversions in, in this football game uh, t tonight that allowed us to keep drives alive. And, you know, any time that you score 55 points, you know, you're going to have to do a good job on third down. And, and I thought to me that was the biggest step we took in the right direction. You know, we got to continue to – we got down there in the red zone to open the game and had to, had to settle for a field goal. You know, we've got to make sure we don't do that. You know, you got to score touchdowns in those situations. We, we went for it twice on fourth down on, the, on that drive and converted both times. <clears throat> but, you know, we've just gotta gotta get the ball in the end zone. You know, again we, we know that. We've got to improve that that red zone offense and I thought we made some improvement, but we've got to continue to to get better. Thanks, Coach. Yep, good. Another thing too, I thought we you know, we didn't turn the ball over and so, you know, this time of year you don't turn the football over, you got a chance to win football games and so I thought that was big for us tonight too. So guys did a good job. Proud of them. Thank you. You played Ulysses, and then he came out after one or two plays. Did he re-aggravate anything? No, no. I think I think we just felt like um, you know he wanted to play a little bit and just his kind of progress, and just didn't want to wear him out too much. So I think he's fine. Didn't think he had any setback, and expect him to be full speed next week.